I'm, I'm, I'm teaching these uh, studies uh, that, that, that you mentioned. So uh, it's, uh, well, first, it's very much related. We still are in the IT business and with a lot of software components. Uh, they never challenge the quality of these patents, but I agree with you that in some industries, the role of patents can be challenged and, I, and I, I'm open to that. Uh, but um, I don't agree with the idea that consists in saying, oh, entrepreneurs do not consider that as a key driver of their success or uh, the success of a new venture. You have first mover advantage, you have, and of course, you have other mechanisms and they are complementary with the patent system. Um, but it's like if you would ask the question to Nike, what will be the success factor of its next shoe on the market? Do you think they will ever mention trademark regulation? No, because they take it as granted. And that's exactly my point. When you, if you have a good patent system, it will not become the key factor of success in entrepreneurship. It, it's like having, you have a road and you can drive on it. So it's not the key factor, but it's part of the framework condition. In some very specific technologies, we can talk about strategic behavior and how it may hinder innovation. I, I fully agree with you. But uh, we, we must think about that carefully. And, and uh, We could uh, continue this debate for a long time. It's a patents clearly excites people and, and provokes a very uh, di differing reactions. We're going to take a break now. We're going to have a cup of coffee and uh, we'll come back for uh, our next panelists in uh, 15 minutes. Thank you.